Hey guys, this is Ben from JBR Play, and I'm bringing you an introduction to the class, the Orochi, the Samurai Warrior from For Honor. So the Orochi is the, the Samurai's assassin class. It's the um, sort of the hard-hitting, quick attacker, but he, well, he really can't take a hit. So he is purely a quick, counter-attacking hero. So you, you dodge, you block, and you hit straight back. Right, looking at the Orochi's hero specifics, um, Renown is more, that's just for Dominion mode really, and it's um, it's like a bar, a meter almost, like a XP meter you build up over the fight, which unlocks your feats and lets you use them, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, so for the Orochi, um, he earns more in 1v1 fights, so taking on other heroes individually will get you the meter filled faster. Uh, revenge mode is more for, um, well it's for everything, but it's good for dueling. This is a sort of, uh, it's a meter that builds up as you get hit, and well, the more damage you take, the more, it's kind of like a rage mode almost, going sort of Super Saiyan. Um, so for, yeah, for the Orochi, it boosts your damage and your health, which are very, very useful, and uh, all attacks are un uninterruptible, which is uh, pretty beasty. <laughs> um, your defense, when it says reflex, um, so, yeah, so when you defend and you block, you have to hold the direction. You can't do that with the Orochi, you have to literally... If you see them swing right, you've got to swing your stick right, and then you have to do it again for every attack. You can't just hold it down, otherwise you won't be blocking. I found that out the very hard way. Deflect is a very useful, um, sort of, a, it's a build-up to a combo. You use Deflect, and then you can use either Wind Gust or Hurricane Blast, depending on if you use a light attack or heavy attack afterwards. To get the Deflect, you have to um, dodge in the direction they're attacking you. So instead of blocking, you just dodge it using A and you follow up with an attack and you'll use one of those abilities. Uh, we've got top light attack combo, so if you land a high uh, light attack, if you um, do it again, you're guaranteed to get the second one to hit. And Hurricane Blast cancel, it just, you just cancel Hurricane Blast using another ability pretty much. Right now we're going to look at the Orochi's uh, abilities. Uh, in this game, they call them feats. Um, so you unlock these um, as you go along as you earn reputation, which I'll come to in a second. Um, so Look at the top layer, we've got Bounty Hunter, uh, gain uh, health and stamina when you kill another hero, pretty good. Uh, stunning nearby opponents with a scream, and we have a, you can sprint when out of stamina, which is pretty good for getting away. Second layer, we got Smoke Bomb, uh, it's pretty good, breaks the lock. I throw a dagger, that deals low damage, nice little kunai. And um, the last one in this layer is Attacks Fill the Revenge Meter which is, well, revenge, as I said, for me in duel is incredible, so that's a nice one. Good for dueling. Uh, the third layer, we got Longbow. Uh, not bad. A ranged attack, that's always nice. Uh, we have attacks inflict low damage over time, so a nice bleed effect. Or you have uh, dodging raises attack for a short duration. That's also very nice. And the last layer, we've got Nail Bomb. Um, it's a, well, drops a trap and leaves bleed damage and they walk into it. Uh, you have enemies around you, have a lower stamina regeneration and defenses. And aerial attacks that deal medium damage in multiple areas. Uh, all of these feats are activated using the, the D-pad. Um, so each one of these is linked to, as you can see, either uh, left, top, bottom or right. Right now we're looking at the loadout for the Orochi. We've got um, the usual, you've got the chest, helm and arms. Um, I've collected an awful lot of arms on this guy. Uh, so I'll use that as the quickly show you some stuff. Um, so in terms of the customization, you have different looks for the arms and different stats. So you can see on the bottom right, it um, you know, affects either your block damage. This is specific for arms, so it's different for helmet and chest. But for the arms, for example, you can um, increase or decrease either block damage uh, resistance, sorry, uh, revive speed, or stamina regen. I like block damage resistance because I like to block a lot. Revive speed, if, you know, dueling it doesn't really matter to me as a team-based one. And stamina regen is also very nice because it runs out quick. In terms of the sort of customizing the look, though, um, if you, for example, had you know a good good pair of arms you wanted to wear, but you liked the look of say you know this one here, then I could um, equip that like that, and then you can change the look by spending money. You can change the look to another pair of arms you've already unlocked. You can also upgrade them with, um, well, steel and salvage. Salvage comes from dismantling down here. You dismantle spare stuff you don't want. And you can upgrade the nice stuff you have to get uh, better stats. You can see on the bottom right. 
something that's more unique to each class is the weapon, um, specifically the look. So the Orochi is the, the master of the katana, so he's got the classic good old katana look. Uh, and what's amazing about this game, which I love, is you can customize the blade completely, really. I've only unlocked one blade, unfortunately, but they go, you can see the difference there. That's the default, and that's the one I use. Um, also, again, with you know, same with armor, you've got stats, so for the blade, you've got attack, defense, and stamina cost reduction. Uh, for the hilts, I only have the one, unfortunately, again. But there you go, you sort of see a difference there. Uh, different stats uh, change with that. Feet cooldown reduction, revenge mode defense, and revenge gain by defense. That is a pretty nice one because you get smacked. It'll increase your revenge faster. And last part is the guard. I have a couple of guards actually, which is nice to see. Um, and with guards, you've got the throw distance increase, you can revenge mode attack, and revenge gain by injury. Again, both very nice ones down there. For, uh, well, at least for dueling. And similar with um, the equipment, as I said, you can choose the one, for example, that you wouldn't, you know, you don't like the look of, but you like the stats, and you can change the look to something you've unlocked. You can also further customize your character in terms of the actual appearance uh, over here on the left. Um, so, yeah, you can be a Mr. or Mrs. You can do the old um, patterns, the same as the emblem. You can change patterns on your chest piece, your arms, and your legs. You got ornaments where you can um, sort of add fancy bits to your helmet. Uh, you can change materials of your actual armor, so you can give it sort of unique looks. Or you can change your color schemes. I like the red, white, and black. You can also unlock actual full-on outfits, but you know, I like to make my own. All this sort of stuff here is unlocked via um, what is called the reputation level, which is what for Honor is calling their prestige, I guess. So for every, you see on the bottom left, I have level four is my Orochi. When you hit level 20, you prestige a level. So you get one level of reputation with that class, only that class. So if I went back and did uh, Nobushi, I'd have to do it again with them. However, to get actual sort of pieces, so new arms, helms, chest, uh, pieces of the weapon, you unlock those pieces, or you obtain those pieces, should I say, um, by just playing the game, playing matches, or you can use your in-game monies to buy packs. So you can buy weapon packs, you can buy armor packs, um, and I think it's like a basic and a premium. Uh, next we're going to look at the, the executions, which are, so as you kill someone, when your sword's in them, you have to quickly either press X or Y, and then you do an execution, depending on which ones it's assigned to. So here the first one, you've got clean kill, which is assigned to Y. You got excessive force assigned to the X, which is, uh, as he says, pretty excessive. <laughs> that gives you your head. And for 5,000 uh, monies, which in this game they're called steel, you can get the choke on this. And then we've got everyone's favorite, we've got the emotes. So you've got some free roams and some combat. So free roam is just when you're not locked on, you can use these. Combat ones are used when you're in lock mode. So you got the old classic, damn it. Everyone seems to have their, like, stroppy, like, ah, oh, fall to the ground sort of uh, emote. And this is the Orochi's version. You got the here I am. Kind of seems to be gesturing to the building over at Nyar. And we got the open for business. Come get a taste. Combat emotes. We've got cut to the chase. Got the you there. And we got the approach. Come at me, bruh. Alright, guys, I'm just going to show you a quick bit of a duel I did. Um, right, so I'm trying to get this uh, Viking, big nasty bugger, into the open. Because he likes to uh, pick people up and shove them off the edge, and I'm not having it. So, the best way to deal with someone like this, I find, is, is playing to the strengths of the Orochi. You have to counter, dodge, be patient. For example, there, he misses... I follow up with a nice break and hit him twice. It doesn't end well for me, this one, because, again, with the Orochi, you cannot really make a mistake, as uh, as is shown there with my head split in two. Here's another duel. Um, this is just me and John. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you here another tactic, which I quite like with the Orochi is the hyper-offensive. So I'm taking a beating here, but then I throw it all back. 
And once you find the opening, you just wail on them. And I found it pretty effective. Also, what I'm going to show you here is Zero Chi's revenge mode. So, John's going to come at me. He's going to get a hit in. And then I pop my revenge and finish him. Very quick, hard hit. My health comes back in case I need some. And he is down. Alright guys, so that'll do it for the um, Orochi. I hope I've sort of convinced you to play this class, because I, I love it. It's my favourite character so far from this game. Um, he's not, he can take a, you know, a bit of a hit. He's not as weak as the, say, the Nobushi, but he can't take as much as a Kensei. But he's just that sort of, that middle ground where he's, he's quick, he can hit hard, and he can take a little bit of a beating. So he's a good sort of, for me, I find him an all-rounder. I know he's technically not. I mean, that's meant to be the Kensei, but for me, the Orochi's where it's at. So anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe for more videos, we'll be having some more class videos coming out for you guys, covering the rest of the, uh, all the classes in the game. Until next time, I shall speak to you guys later.